hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, the non-desperate lifestyle I am Karina and we have a guest today I don't know if you can see her in the corner there that's my cat Petitis and um, yeah she seems to be pretty subtle there for the video but anyway um, I am going to start doing some um, travel related uh, videos you know like travel related necessities I'm going to be going uh, to Europe in the I don't know when I'll put this video it will be in a couple of months or even a couple of weeks who knows <laughs> so anyway but soon now um, I'll be vlogging from there and, and obviously the trip is going to generate quite a few videos but I've never done anything travel related so this is going to be my first travel related video and I thought I'd show you the truces that I take with me and I take this in every tip trip um, regardless where it is uh, and I take this one which is huge and I really like the print because it's very makeup related and this is the truce. This is from Sonia Kashuk. It has two zippers and numerous compartments, which I'll show you in a minute. And in this one, I take everything that is my makeup tools and my skincare and some and my toiletries, basically. And this one, it's a little bit smaller. This one, I believe it was a gift from Clarins from a Clarins uh, purchase I made and here I take my hair accoutrement okay well hair tools and accessories so I'll show them to you um, I'll open them and show you what I keep inside all right so here is the first of the truces this is the one for mostly the makeup and skincare so I'm gonna open see it has the two zippers so I'm going to open the first section and voila what we have here. Okay, so here there is yet another pocket. What I keep in this pocket are 15 minute workout routine, especially for post travel stretches. And this is a cutout that I got from Women's Health magazine, the December 2017 issue. And I thought it would just be good to have it, you know. Um, when I travel, I don't always have a place to exercise. Let's be honest, not always do I exercise because I just travel a lot, especially if I go to, I'm sorry, I just walk a lot, especially if I go to Europe. But at least, you know, there's some stretches to do here, just in case, um, especially they're good for jet lag. So it's in there. Another thing that is good for jet lag are these pads. These are a Japanese invention. And this one is green tea. I think they're all green tea. Some have different flavors. Yeah, these are all green tea. You put them on the soles of your feet, clean soles of your feet, at the end of the day, you sleep with him, and the next morning you wake up totally refreshed. Uh, it's great for when you uh, need to detoxify. Also, if you have walked a lot and your legs and feet are hurting, it's, you just wake up brand new the following day. So I have a few, and you do a set of pads every other day. Okay, not consecutively. And what else is in here? And I have now my dental hygiene. I keep the Marvis travel brush. And I have two sample sizes of the Marvis toothpaste. This is the whitening one, which I have started, and this is the strong mint, which I haven't. I'm going to be away my next trip for three weeks, so I think. You know, I'll be in Europe anyway, so I'll probably get some toothpaste anyway. I like to get the Marvies while I'm there. And these are um, uh, dental washes, uh, mouth washes, <laughs> uh, 
This is a Listerine, which is half done, and this is a Marvi travel size, which I keep the bottle and I replace. Uh, Marvi uh, mouthwash is my favorite one. So this is the very first um, pocket here. The next one you can see it here, and I put these two things in, in between these two pouches. This is a um, nail polish remover. This is from Ciate, and it's white chocolate scented. I haven't opened it. I don't even know if this thing actually uh, is dry or not because it's been here for a while. I'll take it, okay? It's a very convenient size. And this is La Vanilla Deodorant. Not my favorite. Again, travel size. I don't find that it's very effective, but I bought a little packet of three travel sizes, so I'll use it. These are individual pockets that you can actually detach if you want to take this into the bathroom or anything like that. Here I have laundry wash, again, in the mini um, bottle. I have, what else do I have? A towelette, flush towelette, which is probably dry by now, but take that out from here. And I have a mini sewing kit that you see there. It's a mini sewing kit, very important to have that while you travel because you never know when a seam might pop or you need to attach a button again. And here is my shaving things, um, shaving gels and the uh, razor. So now we're opening the other side. This is the biggie. And okay, in this one, this one here has most of my skincare. I hope this doesn't, okay. And I have wads of cotton. These are uh, ampoules that are actually um, firming ampoules, which, you know, when you travel, your skin is always crap, really. And uh, I've used one. And you just, you know, you crack the ampoule and just put it all over your face and it just tightens. Okay, so it's very necessary. Makeup removing towelettes, which I got from a hotel. Not something that I generally use, but, you know, as a travel option, it's always good. Q-tips. Okay, I have a sample of the SK2 Aura Essence. I have, what else do I have? This is an excellent, excellent mask to carry when you travel. This is the Sisley Mask the Rose, uh, Mask Creme à la Rose Noire, um, Dark Rose. This is tightening um, and it's also hydrating for aging skin or for when you're traveling, you need this. Okay, this is a travel size. This is just a very tiny box that has nothing, but because it's just so tiny, you never know when you travel. It's like a pill box. This is from a brand called Afterlier Perfumes, but, you know, I just keep it just in case. This is Pep Start Eye Cream from Clinique. And all these are sample sizes. This is La Mer, um, the moisturizing soft cream, tiny pot. Um, Johnson's powder. Another moisturizing Bioderma Hydra Bio, Hydra Bio Serum. Um, all these moisturizing creams are very, very necessary when you travel. Um, I have a sample of the Hydra Life uh, Sorbet Creme by Dior. I'm going to put this all together here. I have uh, Ren's Ultra Comforting Mask. Okay, and you should put this like in a fridge when you arrive. And then you can, when you it's time for the mask, then it's really 
refreshing and effective. Um, what else? I have L'Occitane, another cream. Um, what else? Another, uh, this is an illuminating moisturizer by Glam Glow, which is needed, very needed when you travel. Um, buffing cream from Sisley sample to renew those dead skin cells after you travel. Uh, another mask, Instant Smoothing Mask by Roloxin. I've never tried this brand, but it seems, well, actually, ooh. So this seems like the ideal thing for when you travel, if that is the effect, the before and after. Again, this one that um, should go in the fridge as well when I arrive. Sample Eau de Parfum, Gilded Fox. Um, oh, this is awesome. This is an eye contour mask by Sisley. Excellent. I just used it last night. Uh, two eye creams. One from L'Occitane and one from Pharmacy. I really like this brand, Pharmacy products. And what else, what else? Um, this is from CO Bigelow, I got in New York. Uh, foaming facial wash and face lotion. This is just for oily skin, the wash. But I don't have oily skin, not generally, and especially not in Europe. But it's a wash, you know, you can always use it when you travel. And the other two things that I always take with, take with me when I travel are Shuemura cleansing oils. Um, this is the, um, oh, what is this? Antioxidant, antioxidant, I don't know. And this is the really, um, the one that I'm using now, Sublimate, I think it's called. And this is a really expensive one. It's particularly good to apply makeup afterwards. I highly recommend Shuemura cleansing oils. And these are travel sample sizes. Ideal. And... I love this, which is the Eau Thermale Aven. I use it in the morning instead of just playing water on my face, and it's fantastic. And this is this portion here. So just opposite to this side is another compartment. Which I don't know if here I have two hair clips. This is a like a flap. I keep these two hair clips there and something that is very important carry your own sponge because not every hotel will have a sponge and then you may have yeah they will give you shower gel but they won't give you a sponge so I have I found that out the hard way hair um, plastic hair mask I mean hair cup to put on also find out the found out the hard way this is a soap by Bliss, which I keep just in case I need soap. Again, sometimes, you know, if you go to somebody's house, if you, you may have to bring these things. And yet in here, there is the last compartment in there. And here I keep my makeup brushes that I travel with. And I will show you this set. So these are it. This is a mini kabuki from Hakuhodo. Comes in its own. Um, I need to reshape it better. In its own uh, bag. And this bag it says Hakuhodo 
and Japan is lovely and this is this is a kabuki um, especially good for powder all, all type of powders I just love this brush it's just so cute and here this is a Laura Mercier set but I've also added brushes and depending on what type of makeup I'll be doing I'll be adding more or less brushes um, these are brush covers, you know, in order to keep the brush sh shape. Um, the, most of these brushes are double-ended, which is a good idea for travel. This is for concealer. Um, I also have one of those uh, covered um, Q-tips, which are soaked in um, makeup remover. Um, this is actually a Kiko brush, which is a double-ended lip brush this is one end this is the other for maximum lip effect another one of the Laura Mercier this is a smudge and crease double-ended another one for angled and flat eyeliner I keep the cover here because this is a very thin brush at the end this is one that came uh, from Stila. This is actually an eyeliner brush, which you can just keep like that. Um, this is Laura Mercier, again, travel powder brush, and this is the only one in the set that is only one end, but this is the big brush, like powder. Another eyeliner, I think this is a Maybelline one, uh, this is one from Sephora. This is probably good for highlighter. I got it part of my as part of my VIV Rouge membership. And this is for um, eyebrows. Another one of the, or two more of the wrapped Q-tips. And this other brush is. Um, that's for eyeshadow, you know, flat, and this is like a crease brush. And they come in this pouch. So I just put them all in there. I, I will be adding more brushes, but these are always kept here in this travel truce uh, because I always um, take them regardless. This is a... Uh, eyelash curler and pro probably one of the most effective ones is excellent for traveling the size and yet it's extremely effective and that's it for this particular one now in this other little bag are three Coyudo brushes Coyudo is a another high-end to me the best Japanese brand superior to Hakuhodo superior to Chiku Hodo. Um, these for me are the best. This is um, from the Garden, Sommel Garden collection. It has a bamboo, uh, what do you call this? <laughs> ferrule, that's what you call it, a bamboo ferrule. And this is goat, is excellent for highlighting. And see, it's like an ombre. It goes from lilac into white. It's just a fantastic brush. Um, this one can be used for cream and powder products. And it's kind of like a stippling brush. Again, two-tone goat from Coyuda. And this one is like a... Um, Uh, what you call it for concealer um, especially for detail work and concealer and these sizes are just excellent for traveling and the box is from this one it came in this box but I just keep them all in here because you know I mean they fit 
in here so why not so this will be my first truth second truth I always take this is my hair products so here I have my mini Mason Pearson brush um, okay which comes in this box that's a little battered but you know still for sensitive I use the sensitive one I have the big one here at home but I have this one for travel I have and this I haven't tried yet but uh, these are travel sizes for e for the Oribe color hair color c colored hair shampoo um, shampoo and conditioner this is Oribe is a great brand from ha for hair so I'm gonna try this in this trip um, two products 10 in 1 complete correction leave-in perfector hair cream this protects against uh, it, I mean gives moisture shine smoothness softness is UV protection uh, manageability strength anti breakage heat protection and light hold so a fantastic 10 in 1 product here and this is a smoothing gelée also travel size always good to have if you want to have a sleek look um, I have here some products from a brand called Amica and this was a sample packet that I got from Sephora this is dry conditioner instead of dry shampoo dry conditioner we also have the dry shampoo so dry shampoo and dry conditioner interesting concept uh, this is hairspray and this is blowout spray and I have two of these hair holders you know these are the Sephora brand ones when you're blow drying your hair or doing a style I have the oil oil from the Venus excellent product I have what else do I have two Rahua hair masks again when you travel here also take it takes a bit and this is a way um, repair shampoo conditioner set so I have the color, but I also have the repair. A comb, essential for styling. And my um, travel hair dryer, which the good part of this, this is just a Conair, but it is dual voltage. Okay. And now I believe it's set to Europe. But you just with just a coin you can just flip it and that's it so yes those are the true truces that I take um, regardless of where I'm going whether I'm making an overseas trip or I'm going across the country or I'm just you know it's an overnight trip in this excuse me in these two truces <laughs> I have pretty much everything I need now I will take another one which is where I will carry my makeup products but that varies you know depending um, you know on the clothes and uh, the events that I'm going to that will vary but these two truces I always keep at the ready whenever I'm going somewhere I know that I can just grab them and um, have them at the ready I replenish the products um, you know as soon as they were out I do replenish them and yeah I think it's a good idea you know whenever you're 
even if you're going away for the weekend, you just grab those two things and you know that they are the ready. So anyway, let me know what you thought of this video, which I believe by now is quite long. And, um, and subscribe, like, thumbs up if you like it. If you have any questions or any suggestions um, for traveling and what to take, uh, leave me a comment below. And I shall see you in my next video.